Hi, you're about ready to see an interview with the directors from J&W Productions. From the movies What the... They're going to go in and explain a little bit. We have asked a fan of J&W Productions to come and interview the two directors and talk to them about what they were thinking and to give us some insight into their movie making. Enjoy. Tell us how you got started with the movie. First movie was uh, we got to the lake and uh, had a cabin and we uh, decided that we were going to... Um, uh, what happened? Uh, a lot of chairs. Yeah, we had um, we, we, yeah, a lot, a lot of, people. of people, a lot of chairs. And so we kind of thought maybe we had walked in. There were just, for a while, there were girls just coming just right. everywhere. The grandmother. And we're like, maybe we walked into a witch's something. We had... So the second movie you put out, you told me you didn't like the quality of the movie. Um, I think overall, I think the movies had a just kind of a, a different f flavor, and I think that was the big thing for us was trying to get, um, you know, trying to get a real perspective on something, um, such as going to the cabin. Just that, um, you know, I thought it gave it a, a definition. It was, it was hard because number two was the first time that we actually shot with footage of a camera, and we uh, um, and we ended up just uh, instead of doing it from the webcam, I got some software. It wasn't the way I wanted it to be done. There's some flesh, cooking of flesh in there, yeah, I think. And, and uh, we just, he got, he got, he got messed up. So, yeah, pardon me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know, I think we just went out to go get a cabin, but the fact that... After the first time, we got the same cabinet. We got the same, same cabinet. cabinet. So it, it was good. It yep. was, uh, so yeah. All right. You mentioned there was special things in the movie that made it somewhat personal. I won these. <laughs> um, number three. Number three was special to me anyway. It was personal stuff of San Diego, where um, San Diego I met uh, met my my wife. Um, so that was that was and fireworks in the back. So that was all San Diego. And then that was the first time I'd seen my daughter um, since she was two. Looking at a crocodile. Looking at. And uh, so I got a lot of that in there in the third one. Uh, take the bus. Just take the bus. Um, and leave the driving to us. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> we introduced a new character. We we'll tell them about the Gang character. Gangster Claus. Gangster Claus. You know, there was a movie before you put out the fourth movie. What happened to it? What made you not put out the fourth movie until now? What's up? The fourth movie that we saw was Gangster Claus. Um, we, uh, I don't know what spawned that, but we started Gangster Claus. Came up with a great idea. I mean, yeah. I thought, funny as hell. Um, I, I wish Paul stealing toys. That's right. That's right. And just I wanted I wanted Santa to get the ultimate beat down. Gangster Claus was about the best, I think. Santa Claus <laughs> outfit running around the park, <laughs> and the wind was blowing. Oh, out. it was. It was cold. Well, I liked all the movies movies that we made, and we did catch a great big one. Have you seen Warren Grady? Hey man, you seen Warren Grady? Nah man, you need to go to Mexico. 